Sushi here and welcome to Pixel Cafe. I'm just gonna turn down the music because it's quite loud, but welcome to Pixel Cafe. So this is a journey that bridges time, memories, and the aroma of fresh coffee. We get to dive deep into a city balancing its past and future, engage in intense arcade challenges, immerse ourselves in heartfelt stories, and navigate a world crafted in pixel art. Um, this game, this is the demo version of this game. It is released on Steam and it retails for 19 AUD. It released um, in November of last year, I believe. Uh, and it just looks really cute and cozy. I really like the art style. Um, and I wanted to give it a go and see how I should have clicked how to play. I don't know why I didn't, but sure. <laughs> Let's just jump right in, shall we? I wonder when, what time period we're in. It says we bridge time and memories, so. Oh. <gasps> Hello? Is that my daughter or are they the. my grandpa I don't know what I'm witnessing when I was a little girl I was asked about who I wanted to be in the future at first I said I would be a sorceress later I wanted to be a dancer then a dinosaur an animal doctor, a bus driver, a painter, a farmer, a dance teacher, an astronaut, an actress, a lawyer. Now I say that I would like to be left alone. Is there a better way to quench the sense of overwhelming loneliness than to run away? If so, well, I didn't know one back then. So I went to the last place I ever felt safe in. Oh man, I had a feeling it was like the grandma's house. After Grandma passed away, I rented out her house almost immediately. I had no trouble finding tenants. After some time had passed, I realized that I have to live someplace bigger than the Hicksville I called home, and, well, I liked that house. That's where I wanted to stay. And after the hundredth argument with my mother, it seemed like the only op option. Before coming to Carstock, I called the tenants that I wanted to stop renting the place out. They moved out even faster than they moved in. As soon as they told me the house was empty, I bought a train ticket and left, suitcase in hand. So I've just moved back to my grandma's house. Oh. Can you explain it to me again? Sure, no problem. Wow, she does not look like she wants to be here. Sorry, we had a different coffee machine at the restaurant in Grano. No worries, everyone has a bunch of questions on their first day. I also struggled with that machine. My name's Sandra. Well, how's the newbie's training going? Great. Good. Badly. Oh, that was her inner thoughts. You have to learn quickly. Most customers aren't as patient as I am. I'm trying. Sandra's been very helpful. Just don't let the orders pile up. Remember, you're on probation. Great. If, I, if anyone's looking for me, I'll be in my office. I, I remember I'm... Hey, listen up. You're doing well. Thanks. First days are always so terribly stressful. Especially since I still don't know how to properly use this machine. Sorry if I'm bothering you with all these questions. Don't worry, ask away. I understand. She's super nice. And don't worry about the coffee machine. It's more important that you learn where to find which ingredient. You have to remember that everything has its own specific place. Only then can you make dishes quickly. I wish I didn't have to rush. It's so easy to make a mistake. And the customers would rather sit at their table instead of standing at the bar. They come here to spend time, not just to pick out. There's so many of them. <laughs> there always will be. If we only served jam pancakes, we wouldn't be so popular. You'll learn what's where with time. You don't have to cram it in from a notebook at home. A well-organized workplace is the key to success. Okay. The pit. My first real day of work. Let's walk through it. Okay. Hell yeah. Remember when I showed you how to use that coffee machine? Just get a cup. Pour some coffee into it and serve. Easy as that. Just be careful not to overflow it. Okay. 
Oh, okay. So I have to. Yeah. Damn, this this takes a while to fill up. And then I drag it to her. Remember to collect the money left behind as payment. I don't think anyone would steal it, but you'd still better not let it pile up. Clients won't approach a counter that's littered with coins. Okay, I've got eight bucks for that. That's an expensive coffee. Although it's part of the course these days. We don't only serve coffee. If you need to make some food, you can do so at the counter. Just remember to put it on a plate first. So we grab a plate, we grab whatever that is, and then some coffee. <laughs> Look at his face! Hell yeah! Pancake! Or whatever that is. And here's your coffee. Thank you for the money, $11. Woo! Breaking in the money. Okay. He just kept on walking. I, Seems like you have a client waiting at a different counter. Let's check out what they want. Oh, he wants a milkshake. Or an alcoholic beverage. I, I don't actually know. It's like a milkshake. It's got one of the milkshake straws. I don't know what more to tell you. If they ask for a straw, give them a straw. They want ice, give them ice. Just place the drink down on the counter and put it in. Okay, well, he doesn't want... He doesn't want ice, he just wants a straw. Thank you. How's this counter going? So you have multiple counters, that's really cool. I like that. Look at my little pixel hand. Hi. If you're ever in a hurry, activate your special and get in the zone, even if for just a brief moment. In this special state, your equipment becomes more efficient and it's easier to impress customers. Oh. Whoa, this is trippy. I'm still doing trash. He's got hot eyes. <laughs> I keep remembering, like forgetting I have to actually turn it off. Thank you. Before I go, if you ever make a mistake you feel you can't fix, just throw that dish in the trash. You'll take a small pay cut for it, so do be careful. Anyway, that's all I had to say. I'll let you take it from here. Good luck, Pixel. I feel like this game, I'm gonna enjoy it quite a bit. Hi, you want this with some cheese? And a coffee. Have this one. I usually play these games like when I have nothing else to do. They're really fun to just pass time. But this one seems like it's got more story involved as well, I would say. And he just wants, I don't know what this is. Oh. Wonderful! We got three coffees out of three! Moon, big tick. Next day. What is this, jam? I guess these might be pancakes, but why would you be putting cheese on it? Oh, plate. Shit. Uh, get the coffee started. I love how shocked they are when I give them the food. They're like, what? What is this? The thing I ordered? Hi, what would you like? A coffee? Oh, and you want one with jam, huh? and then one with cheese. Sorry that she got finished before you, but that was a pretty big bonus. She's gonna go to the other one. Oh, I don't, I don't know how to do this. Cup, liquor. I guess I do know how to do it. You want more coffee? Do do. This guy's jamming it out back here, hey. That's one. I don't know why you need two, but sure. Live your best life. I can do his orders while I wait. There you go, my good friend. Nice. Day end. Damn, another three out of three. I'm getting good at this. Level select? He's telling me to escape. Psst, you there, Pixel? Right. How do I know? I, um, never mind that. Come closer to the bar. I have something to show you. Eh? Finally, so here's the deal. I'll teach you my secret methods. Did you ever think of using the rest of the counter to prepare dishes? Give me $100 and I'll show you how to do it. What? Oh, okay. I gotta buy this. You're learning quickly. Now, here's the neat part. That trick I showed you, you should be able to use it in every future place you work in, provided they serve similar dishes. If you ever need my help, I'll be glad to show you even more for the next price. Good luck, Prith. 
I almost called it Pristal. Pixel. Okay. We're up to level five at the pit. So now we can do two. Ugh. Oh. And we got ice now. Oh, you're over here? Hey. Alright. You just want one of these and then red and a blue. And you want this with some ice. There we go. Oh. Want some liquor. There we go. Anyone over here? No. Oh, she's going over here. What would you like, ma'am? Oh. You want... Wait, what is that? I, I don't know what I'm serving people and it's making me uncomfortable. Two coffees. It's gonna take a while. And... What looks like a slice of ham. Oh, okay. Well, I can give you this and then I can start that but then the coffee's still not done there it is Ooh, getting the hang of this i really like this game so far but I've, I've always liked these types of games so it's quite easy to please me with games like this level six it's gonna get a lot harder too and we got more food oh and a different type of drink and tomatoes i guess this looks like Coke. Just a soda. I guess that's like Fanta. I, I have honestly no idea what I'm giving people. Here you go. All right. This looks like some kind of liquor. No one over here yet. I'm going to call this one, this lady Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Got your regular. Uh, okay, that's a big order. She wants ice and glass. Alright, and you just want a straw and then red. Oh god. And then blue. And we've got somebody over at the other counter. Hi, you want a coffee? And that, that should make you happy for a bit. Sweet. You want everything. Well, all of the savory stuff. And then jam. Wow, that gave me a lot. Nice. Ooh, okay, so coffee. Cheese. Ham. You want cheese and tomato. And also a coffee as well. And we don't have anybody at the other counter yet, so that's good. I think he, this is our last customer, yeah, actually, so. And we're about to lose the bonus, but we didn't. Making so much money. Hell yeah. Oh, how's it going? I bet you're starving out there. What makes you think that? Pixel, you ate stale bread and three slices of cheese today. If it wasn't for the magic of toast making, you break down. Do you have a job yet? Yeah, one at a pretty cool pub. Is it far from home? Nearby. Have they at least opened up any new places down there? Yes, that one. Oh, that one. What luck that you managed to get a job there. There wasn't much competition. So it's obviously not good there. And they pay poorly? No way, it wasn't that bad. Wasn't? What? Why are you speaking in the past tense? Oh, you know. You got fired. What? No, not at all. You got fired. I can tell you're lying. You're 20 years old and yet you still trip up like that. I got fired. She got fired? I'll find another job. You always say that. You jump from one place. You jump from place to place. You take no responsibility for your behavior. You'd rather abandon something than care for it or make an effort. Mum, that boss was a nightmare. People your age always think the world revolves around them. Bosses aren't meant to please you. Life isn't meant to please you. You had one job to do. 
We stopped renting out grandma's house so you could move in. I stopped. That's my house. Grandma and grandpa left it to me. And whatever rent there was, was mine. Oh yes, that's right. You. Yours. To you. For you. I forgot. We've worked all our lives to make yours better. So that you wouldn't lack anything. No dress or toy. So you could eat ham instead of flavourless paper-thin cheese. I don't care about ham and dresses. I wanted you. And I wanted to be an astronaut. But the universe doesn't work in a way where you'll always get what you want. You don't appreciate how lucky you are, so you complain. No respect for our commitment, our work. You really don't understand what the problem was. I wanted you in my life. What are you talking about? What kind of problem? What's all this hysteria? We're here. You're the one who wanted to move out. You have us, me and dad, and the wonderful grandparents whose home you're now wasting. I don't have them anymore. And I didn't have you back then, and I don't have you now. It doesn't work like that. I'm tired of talking to you. You don't get it. It would be best if you... That's it. All of a sudden, you have all this life advice for me for an independent adult. You were gone all these years, and now all of a sudden, you're ready to raise your child. If... Oh, if Grandma... If Grandma were alive, she'd laugh at you. This isn't how you look after your children, remotely. sound of phone hanging up that was intense um yeah it got very intense all of a sudden i guess i lost my job at the pit and i'm now going to this job coffee and sweets by the road hi you're here for a job interview right hi yes it's me pixel i'm julian nice to meet you i had a look at your cv you used a pretty nice colour palette. That's why I remembered it. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have much experience. True, but it's not that important. You'll catch on quickly to the wise and hows. Quickly. How busy is this place? It depends, but don't worry. If someone is impatient, it's their loss. Sometimes it's better to wait a while. Think. Get inspired. I don't think this is the best place for silent contemplation. On the contrary, you can get inspired in any conditions. The greatest artists were able to create masterpieces while seeing the most trivial aspects of our reality. Oh, no doubt. Art is fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Although sometimes I think it's beyond me. Especially modern art. Very interesting. I don't know. Could you tell me more? About your ability to make coffee or about art? Sometimes I don't understand why artists stop painting things as we see them. And I don't mean impressionism. I think it still looks nice. I mean, all those individual stains, those strange installations, while narrowing art down to only pretty things, would make thinking about it more difficult. Sometimes it is created to provoke disgust, anger, rage. That's true, but if, it, but if I can be honest, what about your hourly rate? Focus, Pixel! <laughs> I often read descriptions of these works and still feel nothing. Somehow contemporary art galleries don't appeal to me. You know, maybe you lack context or insight. Don't take it personally, I mean no one. Offense. Rather treat it as a starting point for exploration. I'd like to ask. Ask. Grow. Explore. It's so nice to meet someone who has even a tiny interest in art. I think interest is quite a big word. I used to read a lot about art history, go to exhibitions with friends. So I was right when I saw an artistic soul in you. There are so few of them nowadays. People are always in such a rush now. They have no time to create or contemplate art. All they care about are profits and you don't always have to eat well or sleep well to create. But it's always good to have a patron brother like Vincent. Except that you, Pixel, have no patron. You have to make money. At work. You see, when I was younger and first saw one of Picasso's paintings, Julian, I'd love to talk more about art, but first how about we discuss my terms of employment? Of course, forgive my, discre my discretion. By default, I'd like to offer you the minimum wage. It makes my accounting and tax matters much easier. Oh, certainly. But before you get discouraged, I thought that on top of the salary, I could offer you extra bonuses. If you perform well, and I'm sure you will, I'd be happy to throw in a little extra, just to compensate. Well, sounds fine. Hope he's a man of his word. Once my food truck is up and running, I promise you a promotion and a higher hourly rate. It's only a matter of time. Now follow me, I'll show you the equipment. Starting tomorrow, you'll be able to create culinary masterpieces here. Great. Um. Cool. 
Now we work in a food truck. That still has two counters. That's a huge order. I didn't even look at what I was doing. And you want a straw and you want pink and you want that. Okay, hi, you want a coffee? It's immediately gotten harder. <laughs> Ice. And we gotta get the pink going. You want this and ice and oh my god, the coffee. Oh, that's cute. There you go. Thank you. There we go. It really like built up an in intensity. I'm really wondering why I got fired from my last job. I thought I was doing well. Kind of rude. But I guess them's the breaks, huh? Are you gonna order? Yes, you want the fizzy and this. You want two of the pinks. Let's try this out. There we go. And I have no eyes. Hold to fill. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got quite a bit of money from that. Nice. And now we've got purple jam. And milk? Yeah, I don't know what I'm making. There's another food truck over there, I think. I think that's a food truck. Oh. Oh. Uh, I guess we have different coffees. Okay, we can do that for you. And then you want it milky. Sweet. And then you want ice. You want a coffee with ice. And this, hi. You want a coffee? I'll give you that now. Coffee with ice. This has ice. And then your coffee's done. There we go. Ooh. Um, you want fizzy and yellow. You gotta fill up my ice bucket. Uh, ice and a straw. Thank you. Hi. Oh, you just want pancakes. Well, or whatever these are. Mysterious round flat things. Awesome. Next, you want a lot of shit. Okay, fizzies. I don't know why that's bubbling like that. It's very strange. Okay, that's done. These are both done. You want a straw in the pink one and ice in that one. And you want a coffee and a pancake. And you just want pancakes. My mysterious dishes of no origin. Unknown origin. Oh, I thought I was done with customers, but I'm not. I have one left. Coffee done. Okay, cool. Definitely really jumped up in intensity from like the first few levels. What is this? I still don't know what food I'm serving. Wait, there's a third? What? Ah. Uh, Oh, I gotta bake it? Okay, I don't actually know how to do this. Shit just got intense now that there's a third freaking spot to serve from. But hey, we make crepes, I guess, and ice cream. Whoops. All right, and cold coffee versus hot coffee. I'm. <laughs> Okay, and then what? Oh, there's your coffee, sir. And then whatever this is. The ice cream melted. The 
That's what I thought would happen. My bad. Oh, in the middle, big order. Okay. So you want both this and this on one of them. Just this on that. Two coffees. And... Okay. I feel like we're doing a good job, but I'm wondering if I'm going to lose this job too. That's a decent haul. Okay, over here. You want one of these? And you also want an ice cream. Here you go. The ice cream should tie, like, hold you over until you get your um, cake, crepe, cake thing. Oh. Okay, so you want one with ice and one with milk. Can do. And do you want to be here too? So we'll get the second one going. All right, and you want, no, yellow first and then blue and pink. There you go. Thank you. Oh, there's somebody all the way over here. Ah, no, I didn't notice. I'm so sorry. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. I'll be back in a minute. I'm sorry. I know. Here you go. All right, you want this one and red, yellow, blue. All right, and this is done and you want some ice. Cool. All right, I feel like I'm doing really well here at this place. It's crazy though that there's now three. Oh, now we got banana. I'm wondering how many um, locations we will end up having. What is... that water yes I am assuming that's water any more customers hello hello oh we got two down for here all right so we get a coffee get this one two red a red a yellow you want ice in this. You want a straw in this. And then you want a straw in this. Cool. Oh, just drinks today, apparently. You want a straw. Uh, we actually do have one for over here. You just want a baked cake. Ice. There we go. And your weird cake. Oh. And yeah, we got an order now for this. I guess, do we put the bananas on first or after? Unsure. So many orders. Okay. You can have that one. I would assume we'd put it on after. No, we don't. Okay. My bad. You put it on first. Good God. Okay. I'm sorry. You'll get it shortly. I'm, I'm hopeful that you're eating an ice cream right now. <laughs> there we go. And we got two in the middle now that need my attention. Okay, well, I meant to do it for the other lady, but sure. That will make you a bit happy. Thank you. Uh, we can give this to you now, just to keep you up. And you want one more coffee. I can get yours done too. There we go. And then he's done. That was a big order. Last coffee. This game is super relaxing. Very nice. Very cozy to just chill and relax to. Alright. Enter. Can I... Oh! Alright, time to think of how to spend my day off in a meaningful way. A bubble bath. A nap. A bag of chips. Or maybe something productive. I can't just eat and sleep. You've been eating very little lately, Pixel. 
I guess it's just a matter of being around food all the time. At home, I don't feel like doing what I do at work, and it's way too expensive to order delivery daily. So what, will you clean the house? I'm not that bored. Why don't you play the ukulele? I wish I didn't have to give up classes with the teacher. I find it much easier to learn with someone in person, at least when it's a new thing. Just like at work. True, I'm getting faster and faster at fulfilling orders. Somehow I'm getting used to it. Trained hands. Yeah, that's why I should practice playing, so I can at least do something else and pick up a new skill in the process. Well, I might not have the money for in-person lessons, but I'm sure there are some good courses on the internet. With an emphasis on good. You know how it is with the internet. Yep. I recently saw one guy trying to whip warm heavy cream. He was shocked when it turned into butter. Well, yeah, but he was most likely a comedian. You could say so. All right, time to start looking. Oh. Oh. I have no internet. Still nothing. All right, I'll call the provider. Hello? Hi, my customer code is PIX2810. Yes? Yes. I would like to ask why... Oh. Gosh, that's impossible. Anything is possible with an internet provider. But I set up an automatic transfer to you. I'm gonna call you back. Oh. Gosh, I should have a lot more on my account. That overdue bonus that Julian has been talking about for a few days. It's not there. Still. How could this happen? To me, I don't know. The last transfer I got from Julian was just my per diem. Oh. What a... So he didn't end up ever giving me my bonus. Ah, so that's why I move on from that. That was the demo. I actually really like this game. And honestly, I think I'm going to go buy it so I can play it a lot more because this looks very fun and relaxing. And the story is actually really engaging. And it looks like it can get actually pretty difficult while playing. So that's something that I enjoy in these types of games, the level of difficulty increasing, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get this. I don't know if I'll play it on my channel. I might, depends. Um, but honestly, I feel like this game might just be good to chill to. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I hope you guys get a nice warm coffee or tea and get to relax.